Mumigani Chubinatane Murongo Mirongo Tatu. You can just read here, it's okay. Okay. Here it says, a sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. What it says is that envy inside the heart will rotten the bones. Now, right now I'm going to talk about negative thinking and negative feelings. And and negative attitudes. Now, have you noticed that some people who are unhappy, they always say, oh, I have backache, I have headache, I have ache everywhere. Have you noticed that some people have a lot of ache over the body? Generally, these people are not happy. When they are not happy, it will affect the health. Okay, and then Proverbs 17.22. A joyful heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bone. So a joyful, happy heart will be like medicine. Even people who are sick and then they are peaceful, joyful, they will recover sooner. But a broken spirit, a, you know, a sad spirit, depressed person, then the bones have problem, the health has problem. Now we talk about our thinking how to handle negative thinking, negative emotions, and negative attitudes. Let me ask you, there are two kinds of person, and, and then you tell me which kind of people, there are more of these people. One kind of people, they will talk like this, oh, life is difficult, things are not good, people are not good, oh, I have no hope, I cannot do anything. And then the other kind say, oh, if there is difficulty, no problem, God will help me, I can overcome it. But with God, everything is possible, and they really are positive all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I ask you realistically, not ideally, which kind of people are more numerous. What you know, uh, there are more people who are always saying, Oh, it's hard and it's difficult, no one likes me, or the kind say, Yes, with God everything is possible. Which kind of people do you see more? The negative or the positive? No, 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 so, so tell me which kind of more? Number one. Number one. Those always say negative yeah. things, bad attitudes, no hope, whatever. Yeah, right. Now, the Christians in the church, they might talk very positively. But when they are at home, they might talk negatively, right? Now this morning we also talk about a verse that 
you know, the good man from his good treasure inside him will speak good words. And it all starts in the life, our spiritual life and our hearts. But also because the people around us mostly are negative, so very often people are, are affected by them. Let me ask you, negative thinking and negative emotions, does it help? No, it doesn't help. But let me ask you, for you inside you, is it easier to have negative thinking or positive thinking and is it easier to have negative feelings and instead of positive feelings? No, no, I can move as I didn't really. Muri wowe ashora arukuba kugira imitekerezo mibi cyangwa byiyumviro bibi no kugira ibyiyumviro byiza n'imitekerezo myiza gutekereza ku byiza ibikorohera bibihe wowe muri bo. Now when we have problems it's very natural for many people to say oh the difficulty is too big I cannot handle it oh my life is difficult. Ari benshi rero avanga aiwe is it true? Yeah. The main reason is because from childhood we have learned to look at what is on earth, the things around us, the situation. The people in the world are affected by the difficult situations and it's difficult to overcome the problems. But because after Adam sinned, God had already told Adam that when you work on a field instead of fruits, you get thorns and thistles. Mm -hmm. that, that, you know, when Adam and Eve sinned, and then God told him that when you work on a field, you will get thorns and thistles. No, no, yes, no, no, Adam, no, Eva, Mazagukori, Chaha, it's a dear in my era that to Butaka, no, 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 Finance is difficult. Having positive attitude is difficult. Doing things well is difficult. Is that true? It is true. So when we look at difficult things, they will say, oh, it's difficult. So the attitude becomes negative. But we have a God that can overcome all these things. Have you seen miracles? Let me ask you. How many of you seen miracles? Raise your hand. How many of you seen miracles? That people are healed, people are changed. Wow, every one of you raise your hand. So I ask you, is God working? Is God working? So if God is working, can He help us to overcome the problem? No, 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 even in the church to help people spiritually, to grow spiritually, it's difficult. 
But when you look at me, I look at you now. God is caring for us. God is with us all the time. God is working my heart diligently. And Jesus is gentle and humble. And Jesus is blessing us. So every day I have strength. I see miracles all the time. And God opens the way for me. Because I have experienced God and I remember that and I continue to look at God and trust in God. Let me ask you, to walk across a desert, is it easy? Is it easy to walk across a desert? Let me ask you, to fly across a desert, is it easy? To fly across a desert, is it easy? To fly, if you are in an airplane, when you fly, is it easy? Now when we have the good relationship with God and the strength from God and God is pleased with us, then we are flying over the difficulties. Hallelujah. Now some people say it's hard to change people spiritually. If I look at that, I would say, how can I change the people spiritually? But when I'm always trusting God and I tell people God is loving us, God is blessing us, when we trust in Him, things will change. Let me ask you, how many of you, you feel your spirit has changed in these few days? Can you raise your hand? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when we look at God and trust in God and have a good relationship with Him, everything is possible. So remember this principle again. Don't eat garbage. Eat the good things from God and from people. Amen. Difficult. Difficult situation is garbage. You keep thinking about I have no money. Our people are bad. Our people are bad. You keep eating that. Then you will be unhappy. But if you hold on to the word of God, and you stay in the presence of God, and declare the blessings of God, then you have more strength. I have seen many, many miracles. People ask me to pray for them. I've seen people changed. Because I always look at a positive thing. Okay, now let us look at the process. No, 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 no. The process, you know. When you wake up in the morning, what comes to your mind first? Now for some people, when they wake up, they say, there's a lot to do today. I don't know if I can do it well. I don't have the power to do it well. Does it help? No. But when I wake up, I always say, God is loving me. God cares about me. God will make the 
impossible thing happen. And then, another thing, when we face difficulties, a lot of people face difficulty, how do they think? Oh, they will say people are bad. People hurt me. It's hard to serve God. Hard to earn money. Now, if they look at the difficulties, they, they, they're disappointed. But when I look at the difficulties, let me tell you, I too have sometimes have some negative feelings. But immediately I pray to God to change myself. I keep declaring, God can do it. I trust in God, He will perform miracles. And I rejoice in the Lord. And then God gives me strength to So, first thing to change is the thinking. The thinking will affect the feelings. Now, two persons get, two old persons, they are very sick and they might die. Two old persons, two old Christians, they're both Christians. Two old Christians, they are going to die, they are very sick. One Christian might say, I have served God all these years, I have loved God, I've given a lot of money, and then when I get old, I, I'm so sick and I'll die, and God doesn't remember the good things I've done. Negative thinking produces negative feelings. He will complain and will be very unhappy. And then he will start to complain to God. But this other person says, I'm going to heaven soon. I will see Jesus soon. I will, I will go in front of you to heaven. Don't worry about me. I like to go to heaven. God has been good to me all the time. And now I go to heaven soon. Now these two persons are in the same situation. Who feels peaceful and joyful? Which one? This one or that one? Yeah, number two. So the thinking affects our feeling. For instance, sometimes people say, I don't like my wife. Oh, I don't like my husband. But oh, we don't like the husband and the wife. We will always find some faults with them. And then we, and then we are always unhappy. But let me ask you, does your husband or wife have some bad things and also some good things, right? No, 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 if you look at the good things, you say, wow, my husband and wife has good things. I'm happy to have him or her. That way you're more peaceful and joyful, right? So remember this principle. Say it after me. Positive thinking produces positive emotions. Positive feelings, positive feelings. Yes. Okay. 
Negative thinking produces negative feelings. So when we look at something difficult, instead of just looking at it, we think about the promises of God. And look at how God has helped us in the past. So God has helped me in the past. He will help me now. So I can trust in God to find, to find a way to solve the problem. Let me say this, we have to work on the problem. We don't just sit there and say, okay, God, you solve the problem, just sit there. We have to work on the problem, but we trust that God will help us. Okay, so. One thing, remember, to have positive thinking in God. God's positive thinking is that God will help me, God loves me, God is powerful. Okay, now I talk a little bit about handling emotions. How to keep ourselves joyful. First, when we get up, you praise the Lord. God is good. I will see. God look at today. When we get up, have a close relationship with God. Read the Bible, love the Lord. Okay, that's the first thing. And all through the day, have the prayer of grace. God is helping me. God is blessing me. I can be happy. I can be happy. And then when we are unhappy, handle it with a victory, five steps to victory. I realize I'm unhappy now. I'm, I'm aware it's destructive. The Bible says, be rejoice in the Lord. And I pray to God. And then we choose to be joyful. But you say, my heart is heavy. I cannot be happy. Let me tell you, maybe you're sad like this, and this is joyful, <coughs> you cannot change right away. But if you change a little bit, you can thank God and appreciate yourself. I told people this, you can write this down. If you improve 1% a day, 100 days, you have 100%. So when you love God and you choose to be joyful, you are a little bit more joyful, you thank God. So you say, I'm improving. I'll be more and more joyful. But some people always look at the negative. They will say, I'm a little better now. I'm a little better now. But I'm still unhappy. It's still a long way to go. When we look at there is a long way to go, we'll be unhappy. Remember this principle, very important. Say after me. Look at my improvements. 
Look at my improvement. Don't look at my failures. When we look at the improvement, we say, I have improved. I can be joyful. If you look at the failures, I'm still unhappy. It's too hard. I cannot do it. When I ask people, have you improved a little bit? They say, yes, I've improved a little bit. But there's still a long way to go. So I'm unhappy. But I say, look at the improvement you have. And you say, I have improved. Thank God. That is positive thinking. Or when we look at someone, your husband and wife or child or, or the church members they're not doing so well yeah yeah I know I know but they have improved and I appreciate them and they'll be happier and they can improve what I want to say is we can choose to have positive feelings and one gift God has given us is, is laughter even when you are unhappy you do this ha 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 you'll be happier and also if you have Christian friends, you praise God together, you'll be happier. Let me ask you, are there unhappy Christians in your church? Are there unhappy Christians around you? They are. So first we change. And we gradually change them. And they improve. Uh, no, no, but I'm so yes. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. And you are doing well. And then, and then they will improve. Right? Okay, so remember this. We will keep you. Don't think about the negative. Think about the positive. Think about God. Look at the improvement. Don't look at the failure. And enjoy God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you all. Hallelujah. Pray for them for food. Okay. Okay. okay, we'll pray for them. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you. You are a joyful God. We can rejoice in the Lord always. We can have strength from the Lord. We can choose to live a happy life. Give us strength and joy. Bless the food. Bless our spiritual life. Help us to learn and apply the truth. Amen. Amen.